What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our Dreams of Desire Definitive Edition Let's Blind Let's Play. Let's keep going. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button on the quest to 1000 subscribers. I would love your support and feedback. Uh, any questions, comments, suggestions, leave it in the comments below. Let's get going with our man, Marcus, here. Yo, bro. I'm here. Tell me what's up. Do you know how I can distract my landlord for a short while? Marcus is typing. What? Why do you want to do that? I'll explain it later. Can you help? Sure. I'll always help out a bro. One way we could is send her an email or text message that looks like she got it from someone else. You can set up a fake meeting that way. Cool, let's do it. That's so fast. We need to get the contact info of the person we are going to impersonate, like a phone number or an email address. We have to make it look genuine or your landlady won't fall for it. Hit me up when you have the contact info and I'll handle the rest. Thanks, Marcus. I'll tell you when I have it. Hmm. Who should we impersonate so that landlady would go to the meeting right away? The publisher. I hope landlady has some kind of a phone number somewhere. Okay. Back to the chores. They continue with the mission. Sometime later. Phew! Done with everything. I was thinking I sh should get the papers done and did for landlady and get them nicely organized. I won't stop until she checks them today. No more distractions. What? I put them here. Where the hell did they go? Maybe the other one? No, no, no. No! What the hell is it? Someone took it? That's the only explanation. But who? That stupid woman. Tracy. She was probably trying to sneak into my room yesterday. That's why she was up so late. Landlady told her I did some work for her yesterday at dinner. Damn it. Gotta get into her room. She probably hid it somewhere there. But what if she trashed it? Let's find out. So I have to find a key to Tracy's room and some kind of contact info for the publisher. You know my parents, I can be sure that landlord has hidden a spare key to every room in this house. He doesn't like when he's not in control. So that right there is the first indication of the, of the name change. If I know my parents, oops, <laughs> not the word supposed to be there. And my landlady is a writer. She probably has that contact info written down somewhere. Ooh. Oh, free room, apparently. Uh, these are the different rooms, it looks like. Oh, there's another visual novel I played on my own. That's very similar to this. Okay. Uh, this looks like we can click on things. Landlady's book. What's the title? Dreams and Their Meetings. <laughs> Never believed what, believed what these bullshit books tell you. Uh, pen. Looks like Lanley's note. Just some groceries, basic stuff, and there's a line that's scratched out with a pen. The only part that's readable is meet with. And then it can't be read anymore. Meet with who? Comfy pillows. Sometimes I find coins behind them. Not this time, though. Okay. A TV. Landlord used to watch it all the time when he was home more often. Everyone is usually in their own rooms or not at home. Maybe I could save up for a gaming console so I can hook it up to the screen. That'd be nice. I don't see anything else here. So that's this room here. This one here. So the terrace. Uh, picture. Some kind of a picture of someone. Looks old. I don't understand what it's doing here. Cigarette half smoked? Did Lindley smoke this? She doesn't normally smoke. Jesus, landlord's deployment is really taking a toll on her, it seems. Ooh, got some wine. Two glasses? Wine's still here from two days ago. I knew she didn't drink just that one glass. Wait a minute. Two glasses? Why would she need two? There's only the two of us here. Was she so drunk that she used two glasses? Strange. Hmm, huh, more books? What are these? Scrolls? They look ancient. Lindley is going to ha go is going ham on research for the book, it seems. But where'd she get her hands on these? 
Didn't say there was a fortune for the right people. I'm not touching it. Last thing I need is for Lanny to yell at me. That's fair enough. More cushions. Just pillows. Just pillows. Pillows. Cushions? Yes, that's it. The key. I knew landlord would have this hidden somewhere. Now I can get into Tracy's room. But did she really hide my work there? She's probably smarter than that. We'll see. What else we got? Balls over here. Just big balls. Balls of steel? Heh, <laughs> not even funny. Uh, let's see. Anything else I haven't missed yet? Nope. Okay, next. Uh, so we did that one. That's the terrace, so middle here. This is our room. New poster, love to give an email. Two okay, fair. I don't care. Uh, got a lockbox, apparently. So that's our room. So let's go to this one here. This is the parents' room. <laughs> also wrong. Some kind of medical documents. No name on it, though. Medical information is, of course, classified, but no name on it, even? It says terminal illness. Oh, this is really strange. Why would landlady have this in her bedroom? Who is sick? I'll have to find more about this. Dad sick, apparently. Oh, she's contact info. Yes, I knew they would have it written down somewhere. Now I can talk to Marcus about the distraction. Shut the vacuum cleaner out like this? She must have left in a hurry today. But where the hell'd she go? Some more books. And whatever that is. Revitalizing face mask. She takes care of herself, that's for sure. She looks really good for her age. Nothing interesting here, just basic woman stuff. Bed of landlady and landlord. How beautiful it is when she's sleeping here. Okay, uh, this is Tracy's room. Ooh, book. Book? In Tracy's room. I wonder how I got here. Definitely by mistake. She never really read much. Or many at all, really. The ways of mind. Well, she could certainly learn a thing or two from that. I'll get a brush over here. Beauty has always been the most important thing to my roommate. Her room reflects this as well. Leonard bought everything she wanted in a blink of an eye. She was always Leonard's favorite. Interesting. Looks like I'm not the only one with a small box full of secrets. Meh, probably just girly stuff in it. It's locked though. Nothing wrong with having a lockbox. Uh, some shoes. She has a lot of shoes. I have to admit, I like her style. These heels make her really sexy and slutty, of course. Ah, uh, laptop. Hmm. I'm we'll signing my papers here, but this laptop might give me some useful info. Maybe I can access her profiles and take a look at some pictures. I could use that as blackmail material to get my stuff back. Yeah, let's get work. Type in password. Ah, oh, man. Uh, damn it. She have no needs a password. But how the fuck did I get ever? I have to find a way. I need to get my papers or it's over for me. Uh, well, we have a spell we can use. Another box locked as well. Now I'm starting to wonder what could be in these. We have no idea. I just can't bust them open by force. I'm pretty sure she doesn't keep the keys laying around here. Well, of course not. Uh, there's nothing. Oh, I'm painting. That's be honest. She looks beautiful. She wanted to be a model. I don't really know if that's the whole true or not. Too bad she became such a huge bitch. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, there's a rug. This rug, though, is something else. This, this furry stuff has come in quite the trend nowadays. Uh, looks like I got everything. I can still have a room over here we haven't got to yet. Uh, so we have to go to our room. Hey, bro. Got the contact info. Sending over right now. I'll tell you one to send a message. Wait for my signal. Of course. With this, I can make it look like the message is coming from the publisher's number. Pretty good, huh? I'm expecting some serious explanation about this, though. Sure. You're awesome, Marcus. I know. Okay, I did what I could here. I'll call Landlady and ask her to take me to the library. I can hopefully find out more about this hypnotism stuff. Sometime later. Thanks for taking me to the library, Landlady. That's alright. It's a rare occasion that one of my kids wants to go to the library. Of course I can't refuse to help. 
Hey, it's outfit again. Cleavage top and shirt. Oh, and she always drives barefoot. That's weird. Damn, that's sexy. I wish I could see her body some more in these clothes. We're almost there. I read a book from the library that's due to return now. Can you please take care of it? Sure. Thanks. It's here somewhere in the car. Who drives barefoot? It's here somewhere. I know it. Please wait a second until I find it. Oh, he's going to look to see if she's wearing underwear or not. I'm going to have to cut that out. Looks like my wishes came true. Her pretty little feet. I love to massage them a bit, then wrap them around me. Oh, crap. Classic doggy style. And mount her right away. Wait, she's in a skirt. Maybe I could check under it to see if she's wearing the panties or not. Like I commanded her yesterday night. So, spoiler, she was not wearing them. Ooh. Um, I can't find it right now. Maybe I left it somewhere else? Have you seen it at home, maybe? What's the title? The Ways of Mind. I don't know, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Sure, see you at home. And don't stay too late. See you later, Landlady. Whoa. Really nice library. And big. Finding anything here is going to be a pain in the ass. I don't even know where to start looking for. Well, what I'm looking for exactly. I think I'll just look around first. Get familiar with the place. So many books here. Some useful, some total nonsense. The all just centuries lies in here, waiting for someone to discover them. Or people just on the internet and... They'll go on the internet and find everything there. Wonder there aren't many people here. <laughs> look at this guy. Who could it be? A historical figure? Or just a random person painted by another random person? Possibilities are endless. Well, not really. Cooking books, history books, all kinds of books. None about hypnosis yet. One hour later. Damn it, I'm not even halfway through and I've been here for an hour. They should have big signs everywhere saying useless book section here. Any novels here and hypnosis section here. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever find what I'm looking for here. Maybe coming here is a bad idea. Could be home playing some games right now. Having a problems as it is. Tracy. I bitched all my work. Damn it. Boop. Eh. Nice. I thought so. As soon as it showed like this lower view of that panel, I was like, oh yeah, he's definitely gonna like kick it open or something. Shit, I kicked that part out. Wait. What is that? Is that a book in a hidden compartment? Wow. This book looks really cool. I think the books are here look similar to this one. What are the chances I'd find this in a hidden place? It could only happen in some cliche movies or games. <laughs> Anyways, no title. To check the inside to see what it's even about. Must be an important book if someone's hidden it there. Really nice cover. A bit cool to touch. I wonder what this symbol means. Alright, my day is mostly wasted anyway, so I'm just going to sit here and read some of it. That way I won't have to pay to rent it either. <laughs> the hell? It's handwritten. All of it? It looks really old as well, but it's in really good condition. Some of the pages are oddly faded, while the rest are in perfect condition. Weird. Not many people have read it, I guess. But who hid it there and why? We will find some answers. Okay, let's see here. Reader. The fact you're reading this book means you have the... You found the dreamer's spell. Holy shit, the spell! Is this real? This book knows what's up. Okay, I have to read it now. Or at least a fraction of the spell. I don't know how much of this will survive the test of time, but I'm writing this book to guide you through the world you're about to enter. I've written this book for those who will come after me. It has a name. The Dreams of Desire. It will make sense to you once you reach the end. If you're reading this, it means I'm long gone from this world. You're one of many in line, a successor of generations. And this is my final gift to the world and to you. This is my memento. Forget everything you know. What you've been told is a lie. Prepare to step into the void. As you probably already know, the dream world is real. You and I have the opportunity to shape this world to our desire. Build it to our will alone. The spell is a conduit, a way to channel your will. 
You probably experimented with it before you set out to search for this book. You're just starting to grasp the true power it beholds. It'll guide you through a series of lessons in this book, train you to be able to unleash its full potential. Or we start, do not let this book fall into the wrong hands. Hide it. Keep it safe. Jesus, what the actual hell is this? I gotta read some more of this. Then I'm freaking out of here. This is gonna be chills. So, from what I understand of the first few pages, this dreamer spell, or whatever it is, is only usable on people who are asleep. It puts them into a hypnotic state, and they are open to suggestions. To have more control over the subject, the procedure has to be repeated. And the subject can experience symptoms such as confusion, distress, paranoia, and changing of their iris color. This is caused by the cell's effect bleeding through the fabric of reality in the dream world. It usually happens when using just parts or an incomplete version of the dreamer spell. What the hell? This would explain why Landley was so weird yesterday. Well, this can't be true. The dream world being real? There's no fucking way. This could be some really old school version of today's esoteric nonsense books. But everything seems to be in place here. Landley's weirdness. The fact that she doesn't wear panties today. Just when I told her not to. And also that she didn't wake up to anything I did to her, and she didn't even get suspicious about it. Could it be that this is really true? This guy who wrote this seems pretty confident in it. He didn't elaborate on the keep it hidden part. At least not yet. This is too much to handle. I should probably get home and think about this later. I can't take this with me though. Hey, I just found a book hundreds of years old while kicking your bookshelves, so I'm taking it with me. Bye! I'll put it back where I found it. If no one found it until now, it should be safe there. I'll come back and read it more when I have the time. Interesting. Okay, put it back where it was. Time to get out of here. Do I hear someone? Snoring? Oh, that's Marx's landlady. With a huge pile of books. Oh, yes, I remember. She's a teacher. She must have been working here and fell asleep. Should I try this spell on her? But she's my best friend's landlady. Marcus found out he was really mad at me. Uh, ooh, use this spell or leave. You know, just gonna leave. Yeah, I better not do anything to this landlady. Spying on her in a yoga studio is one thing. I didn't know it was her at the time, but this would be something else. Even though he says he'd do it, I doubt he means it. I'll just leave. Finally home. Tracy usually showers right about this time. I think it's time for our diversion. Hey, Marcus. Do it now. Done. Thanks, Ben. I don't have to wait until Tracy gets into the shower. It's only fair I can see her naked. You should check my work. I'll get even soon. I mean, that's kind of pervy logic, but okay. <laughs> there she is. Yes, get naked. Take it all off. Obviously, I have to cut that out. <clears throat> I just watched her for a little bit. And then, uh, once she actually got into the shower and then stopped. Our mission was a success. It was worth the effort. Tracy's really hot. Too bad she's against me this much. We have one new message. This must be Alice. Ooh, check. It's okay. Don't worry about forgetting me a bit. So, Lindley wants to, you to help me with studying? You do want to. You can pretend you did if you don't feel like it. And no, I'm not reading that book, stupid. It's about other stuff. So it's Thursday today. That means I'll get home sometime this weekend. I'll try to be there as early as possible. I'm getting really bored of this place. See you at home, big roommate. Cute. She doesn't have to lie to landlady about studying because of me. I like to spend time with her. It'd be much better when she's at home. Tracy turns her inner bitch down a notch when... Alice is around. I think Lindley is home already. I'll see what she's doing. What's she doing here all alone? Maybe it's because the fake meeting I created? Hey, landlady. It's a good place to leave it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series so far. And I'll catch you all in the next one.